Welcome to Pro Kitchen Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how quick and easy it is to design a kitchen using Pro Kitchen software. So to get started, we are going to open a new design. We're going to File, New, and we're going to put our file name here. We will name this Pro Kitchen in 10. You can also put your job name, your design status, customer, designer, but we're just going to start here. Hit create. We're going to design settings. Your file is saved here. Here's your customer dealer. We're going to go to moldings. We're going to set our moldings so that they're prepared for when we need them in our design. We are going to pick our catalog, and we're just going to pick a catalog here. Pick our molding. This will be our light rail molding. And then our top molding. Again, picking our catalog. And then our tote kick. And we're just going to take the standard tote kick. And then we're going to go to 3D. And you can change your countertop, wall covering, flooring, and ceiling. We're just going to change our countertop here. And we'll go with granite. And let's pick this one here. And then we'll hit OK. And now we are prepared to start our design. We are going to do a 10 by 12 kitchen today. Let's get started. We'll go here to sketch and put our walls in. The first wall, let's make this one 148. And our second wall, we will make 124. Then we are going to zoom to fit. We're gonna hit escape here to get our walls to click into place. Let's select our catalog. We're gonna select our base cabinet. We'll go to the corner base cabinet first. We always wanna start in the corner. And we'll put a Lazy Susan in. Then we'll do a base 12. And we're going to do one to the right of the Lazy Susan. And then we're going to put a right one here. We'll bring that back shortly. And then we're going to do a base 33 on this wall. And a base 15. We need a sink base put that here and then let's do our appliances we're going to click on appliances on our ribbon and let's get a dishwasher and we'll do a stainless steel dishwasher place that next to the sink and we'll go to range and do a gas range and do a stainless steel again and we'll place it here and we'll go to refrigeration and we'll do a top freezer stainless steel and we'll place that here and then we'll do our wall cabinets let's bring this cabinet back here and let's do a corner wall cabinet corner diagonal 12 inches deep and we'll do 30 inches high and we're going to do a left hinge and then we will do a standard cabinet 12 inches deep we're going to do them 30 inches high. We'll need a 24 inch here. And then we'll need a 36 over the dishwasher here. We'll need a 27 and a 33. We will also need a 30 by 12 over the range. And then we will do a 33 over the refrigerator. Add an elevation. Pick your wall. Hit elevation. I'm going to hit the second wall. And there's your second elevation. So we're going to go to the first one and let's put our microwave in over the stove. And that's in cooking microwaves over the range. And let's pick the stainless steel. And we're going to place it here. 
and then left click to place it. And then you can raise it up to match your cabinets. So let's edit the refrigerator here so that we can get it an appropriate size here, 67 and a half. And then our microwave. So now we have to add a window over our sink. So what we're going to do is go to doors and windows, go to our windows icon here, gonna do a 36 inch high casement window in brown, and then you hit place to place your window. And we're gonna go to our second elevation and place it here. And we're gonna center it over our sink. And then you click on the sink base and it will center. Now let's go to draw in place, plumbing. We can add um, plumbing fixtures here, either with the plumbing catalog or if you have the Kohler catalog, you can use that too. Let's go to kitchen fixtures. We're gonna add a sink, under counter sink, two basin, and we'll do a stainless steel. And then you can place it right over your sink base and then we'll add a faucet. We'll use this faucet. Place this. And then cancel. And then what you can do is click on the items, the sink and the faucet, and then you can center them right on your sink base cabinet. There we are. Now we're going to add our molding. Go to countertops and molding. We're going to add all on our countertops, and this will add countertops on all of your cabinets. And then we're going to molding. We're going to add all on our moldings. This is where setting our moldings in design settings makes it easier to apply or remove moldings in one click. Now we can set our global options in our view and settings global options and your series your door style let's do we'll do corona we will do it in a clear alder let's do we'll do iron we do not want any glaze no sand through so we have everything set we're going to go to 3d Click 3D and it will generate our 3D view. In your 3D, you can use your right button to move your angle and then you can use your left button to move the entire screen. Here's your 3D. Now we can also do a high definition. So we will go to HD here at the top of the screen. It'll generate a small view, your resolution, we'll do an LCD monitor. We'll do the additional highlight because we have a dark finish in the cabinets. And you can do maximum image quality. This will give you a more realistic rendering. You can adjust how glossy or how matte a finish is here on the right. Now we're going to move our countertops so that they're a little glossier because they're granite. And let's render. And it'll start rendering. And because we use the maximum, it's going to take a little longer for it to generate. And then you have your completed rendering. As you can notice, you see the reflections on the floor, the high gloss on the countertops, and on the appliances, giving you a more realistic look to your 3D rendering. And that completes a kitchen in 10 minutes. This has been Pro Kitchen Tutorials. Thank you for watching.